Okay, let's start. So before going for the next MCQ, I will revise few of the theories. Few of the theories which are useful for you, all of you. These are the basic things. I'm going to revise the things that you know, that requires revision. Wait, these are general things. Just given for the reference purpose. Okay. If you have any problem so far, just let me know so that we can go ahead. Please type yes if you are comfortable. If you have any query, let's just let me know. Okay, thank you, thank you, very good. Thank you very much, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Fine. If inner sphere is provided an earthing, then the formula for the capacitance will be 4 pi epsilon 0. B square. Remember it is outer sphere uh, radius. B is outer sphere radius. Fine. This has been mentioned in our material also. But only for your reference, I have just uh, recalled it for you. Fine. Okay, let us go for the next concept. Okay, this is what we have done. Okay. Let us understand this. Here, if I want to find potential at A, means inner one, here. Then due to the charge QA, it is KQA by A due to charge QB and sphere B. Remember, A is inside B. Due to charge C, it will be this. So this is what mentioned here. Same way at B, same way at C. Understand it. If you are, have not clear understanding of the basic, you will find it difficult to manage. Otherwise, it's very basic level understanding. Fine, this is we have already done. This is what we have done. If you simplify it, you will get that formula of 4 pi epsilon 0, B minus A upon AB for V. So you can take it for C. This is what we have done. Okay. This is what we have done earlier. I don't think you will be having any difficulties in this. Fine. Does Amini have any question? Okay, let us go ahead. Equipotential surfaces we have already discussed. Okay, this is good one. Let us understand it. 
separately. Suppose we have uniform electric field. This is point A and this is point B. Separated by a distance S. Electric field is from positive to negative. Suppose we have charge Q at A. So force will act on charge that is QE by M. Remember, uniform electric field, mass constant, charge constant. So it is uniform acceleration. So if I want wish to find time taken by it to reach to B, that is UT plus one half AT square. Remember U is zero, so T equal to under root 2S by A, that will be QE by M. Fine. Also we can write, suppose potential difference is V, then V equal to E into S, remember V equal to E into S, so you can replace E if you are given potential, fine. If you wish to find its velocity, here V for velocity. Here this V4 potential difference. So velocity V equal to U plus AT, initial velocity is zero. A is EE by M, T equal to, uh, I should write QE by M instead of, if it is electron, then it is E and T equal to 2SM upon QE. So we'll make it, this M will get cancelled. This E will get cancelled with the root left. That is 2S QE. Correct me if I have made any mistake. Q under root Q will be there, under root E will be there, and under root S will be there, right. Here V4, velocity. And instead of E, you can write V by S. So you don't need even S. Only potential difference given, then also you can do it. Fine. Remember, this V stands for potential difference. Note down this formula, revise this couple of times. Fine. Remember, in any entrance exam, paper check, paper setter would like to ask questions based on the multiple concept. Questions will not be very tough. Remember, they know that you have a limitation of the timing. If you are a JWA aspirant, then you need to finish 25 questions in one hour. It means you can't spend more than two minutes and few seconds. And if you are a neat aspirant, you have 45 questions in one hour. It means you can spend less than 1.5 minutes per question. So they will surely ask question which can be completed easily with, it, with this time period. Right? Okay, everybody. Let us go for the next concept. So these things are given P equal to MV momentum V we have found you put that value of V I guess this is the value of V you put it here Sorry here Fine kinetic energy one half MV square substitute the value of V remember This delta this V small V for velocity and capital V for the potential Yeah, this will be very useful formula. You might be given only Q and only delta V you can also use the concept of work energy theorem. QV means work, that is energy. 
So kinetic energy is Q delta V. Right? These are the general concept that you know, equipotential surface. So work done, okay. Uh, electrostatic field as a, is a conservative field. So you go, if, if a charge goes from A to B along path one or two or three, the work done will be same. Conservative field means low conservation of mechanical energy is applicable. Law of conservation of mechanical energy is applicable. It means you can write initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy equal to initial, sorry, final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. Wherever you can write this, it means the field is conservative. So uh, in our case, we have three conservative field only. Gravitation, electric, and magnetic. This thing we know, okay, even more concept can be discussed here based on that understanding. Let me write here, let me change the pen. Fine. Suppose we have electric field upward. Electric field is from positive to negative. We have a charge moving with velocity V enters into the electric field. Now remember, electric field acting, let me take horizontal as the x-axis and vertical as the y-axis. So there is no force on the horizontal axis. So A x is zero and A y will be the force upon mass. It means uniform motion along x-axis and uniform accelerated motion along y-axis which is same as projectile motion so you can use all the concept of a projectile motion here for example, if you wish to find horizontal velocity, then it will always remain same. Vertical velocity, then you can use UI plus AT. Or you can use vertical displacement, that is UT plus one half AT square. Along vertical axis, you can use the concept of a uniform accelerated motion. Okay, or you can use v square minus u square upon 2a or you can use vy plus ui by 2 into t okay the trajectory of a particle q will be projectile uh, sorry uh, trajectory will be parabolic sorry trajectory will be parabolic let me draw that parabolic motion for you Okay, so the motion will be like this. Fine. Okay, let us go for one more concept. So these all formula are written here. Just go through it. Concept of a vector only. Okay. Suppose if we take an example of a simple pendulum, then its time period is given by t2 t equal to 2 pi under root l by g. Fine. But suppose we have it has charge Q and we have an electric field along x-axis. So now two forces are acting on it. So the net force will be under root of gravitation force. and electric force so instead of g now new time period will be 
2 pi under root L by G effective. G effective means net force upon mass. Okay. Now suppose instead of a horizontal electric field, we have vertical electric field. The net force will be mg minus qe. If we have a downward electric field, our meeting will get over in one minute time only. If electric field is downward, then net force will be mg plus q. Fine. So we'll keep up to here. In next session, we will come up with the more con theoretical concept and rest MCQs that we need to discuss. Thank you very much. Everybody.